everybody welcome back to my channel um i've got my nice new craft mat but the the other one was um it's my stamping craft mat and it is warped so um yeah i have my nice flat new sparkly craft mat so today um Ah, before we get into the video, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your love on my previous video. It was so much fun. I'm so glad you're all loving it. I really am. It is just, ah, oh, it's just the best. It's just the best. So today um, we are doing the, the dies that I showed you a couple of videos ago that I got from Crafty Lear. Um, so we have two of the square ones two of the circle ones so you get a sort of like a smaller and a larger and a smaller and a larger and then you have the t-bar ones as well so firstly um they are linked in my amazon store which is linked in the description box down below but they're they're not linked in my american um my us amazon store because they're not available um on amazon in the us unfortunately but i did look and they are on the craftalia website so have a pop over there they're called binding edges dies so yeah have a pop over there have a look and see um what they've got there so these are the dies and they so I have cut some out already because I thought, well, I won't bore you with the old Sizzex machine. So they're the dies. They're awesome, by the way. Get them if you can because they're so cool. So what I did is I cut a load out and I have, oh, I mean, just look at this. How cool is that? Look at that grunge on there. All that distress love it um i distress these with antique linen and vintage photo the distress sprays um so yeah i just i literally i was doing some projects and i just mopped up the excess with these that's all i did i didn't even unravel them i kept them in their things and i just went dab dab in all the juices that i had left over so yeah that's why some of them are done and some of them aren't so these are the larger circles how cool are they? This is the smaller one. Um, the smaller square. Some of these are cut out with just regular copy paper um, because obviously that's what notebook stuff comes in. doesn't come in cardstock um, and craft paper as well. Um, this is also linked in my Amazon store. It is just recycled craft paper. Um, that's the smaller square one. That's the larger square one. And this is the T-bar, which is so cool. Um, and yeah, so I cut out quite a few of them. So I have all these, so which is perfect for edging anything you want to edge. Your clusters, um, just make up a load, keep them in a folder or wherever you want to keep them. And they look even better when they're distressed. I mean, look at that one. How cool is that? So that's those ones. But then, so these are the inserts that came out. So they're the inserts. And I thought, I like them. So I even kept, there's some more there. There's the T-bar ones. So I even kept these as well because I thought, you know what? These will actually make good edges as well. So yeah, I kept all of that. I kept all of those. So that's two lots you're getting out of there. I mean, you don't have to use these if you don't want to, but I do love another element. So let's just get these. They do love to stick together. So let's just get these and put these, clip these back together so we don't lose them. But then I thought, do you know what? There's got to be a way of making these without these dies and there is so i went on to amazon and had a look for the smallest 
square punch they did and I think I found it so it's this little thing here which is so cool um, and it's as you can see in there so it's a tiny little square that's the size of it and it works out I think it's like quarter of an inch quarter of an inch which is perfect and it just clips up like that so that is also linked in my Amazon store too let me just put all these back together perfect sit those over there so yeah I found the smallest square punch ever I got that and then I got my much loved <laughs> uh, I know I haven't got a new one yet I will do when I can um this and my crop doll so I've got those two let's put that back in there just so we don't lose it and I came up with these I mean I'm sorry I love those dies but really I mean these they're so cool they really are and you can basically use any punch you like so this one is my little squish squish my little um i don't know what that is slot i guess it's a little slot punch um so yeah that's that one how cool is that it's different isn't it and then i did some on some music paper as well and i grunged those up um this one was done with this hole punch the we are memories one um with the one sixteenth hole and you have you can do i mean you know it goes up to right up to five sixteenths so it's just a little bit harder because you can't actually see where you're punching so yeah it's, it's just a little bit harder to use this one but you can still use it i, I did use it for that um and this one is the smaller hole on the crocodile this one is the larger hole on the crocodile and this one is the square so how cool do these look so today that's what this is what we're making so if you want the dies get the dies use the dies absolutely perfect if you can't get the dies stick with me because we're gonna do it without so I've got my little bundle of treasures here that I'm saving up for when we do the cluster video. So let me just take these tickets off. Put those in there. And I have um, I have distressed. Aha, I have distressed some music paper. Um, also, keep all your strips. Look, I've kept all my strips. So, yeah, keep keep all your strips. I have got some music paper that I have distressed. Um, oh, apparently only on one side on this one, but that's fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to make some of the square and some of the circle page edges for our clusters and our pages. So the best way I found to do it, I tried it many ways. And the best way I found to do it was I've drawn lines and I've tried to follow the lines. And um, yeah, it works, but the odd one goes out of sync. And then, you, you, I mean, not that it really matters. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I pulled um, one of these out. No, not that one. Not that one. Um... There's some, this one. So there's some on there, look, that are wonky. See? Um, yeah, so that was me practising. So there is some on there that are wonky. Now, the best way I've found to do this is... Is this the folded edge? No. Right, so you get your square punch. You take your little rubber bit off the end here. So you, because you can see, you see that? You can see inside where you're punching. So I'm going to take the edge of the paper and I'm going to put the punch in 
Now, don't worry. I know you're probably thinking that's a waste of paper. It's fine. It's absolutely fine because we're going to keep the strips because we use the strips. So I'm going to line. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. There we go. Right. So I'm lining the punch up um, to as far back as it will go. So you've always going to have the same height all the way along. Um, and I'm lining the edge of the punch up to the edge of the paper. And then I'm just going to punch my first hole. And then I line the punch, the edge of the punch up with the edge of the hole that we've just punched. Can you see that? So that it's right on the edge. And then we're going to punch again. And then we'll just go, carry on like that. Make sure your paper's right to the back of the punch. Line the punch up with the edge of that hole and punch. And then punch again. Punch. And just keep doing that all the way across. You might have to... Oh, and also keep these little bits because... These, these little bits of confetti, I mean, not only that, they look really cool because obviously on music paper, there's numbers and stuff. So let me just grab these and show you what I mean. So look, can you see, like there's little numbers and stuff on, on these? I mean, how cool are they? You can use these in like shakers or something that one they're proper cool so yeah keep if you want i mean you don't have to chuck them if you want um i keep them i do keep them and then we're just going to finish off going along i mean if some of them are wonky some of them are wonky it's no great shakes because obviously at the end of the day it is junk journaling and then it doesn't matter if it comes off the end of the page. That really doesn't matter. And if you want to, you can also go up to this end as well. And then just take a bit off the end of that page as well. Just, you know, so it looks. So it looks cool. And then. I actually got me bits of paper out. And then I'm going to grab my scissors. And along the, not on the edge, not on this edge, you want to do it this side. So I'm just going to cut. Quite close. To the edge. And there. There you have your book binder bits. But... We want to trim off some of this, some of this excess off the side, off this side. So probably about a quarter of an inch. And this is what I mean by keep your strips. So put those away and keep those. And now what we're going to do is I'm just going to line these up and then I'm going to get one of my, get a, like a clip or a paper clip or something just to keep them together. And then I'm going to, right, let's do it this end so it's, it's up the right way. That's it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut a slot. So cut a teeny weeny, just a little slot like that. Doesn't matter how big, because obviously when you rip it out of a notebook, some of them rip off, some of them don't. But we just want a tiny little i mean if you don't you can just you can just sort of do that to it as well if you want to on some of them so they've had like clean cuts and then 
So you've got gaps in some of them and none. All right, so let's... Do this, a couple more. And there we have. Let's move some of these out the way. And there we have it. So they're all slip. And now, right, I'm just gonna put my punches out the way while we do this bit. I think I've got a bit of a cold coming. I feel very bunged up. Right, so now I'm going to separate them both. Like that. Oh, look at that. I'm sorry, but just look at that. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Right, now, you can either do this wet or you can do it dry. It doesn't really make any difference. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, first off, I am going to do one. Um, let me get my mucky back in paper. So, this one, I'm going to get my antique linen. And I'm just going to – they were just tiny little – I wasn't pressing it all the way down. They were just tiny little little squirts. And then I'm just going to dab it on with my fingers. And then I'm just going to screw up – the edges and pull some of them off and then just like that give it a bit of a crumple because it's more durable when it's a bit damp so there's that and then we're going to put that aside to dry and then we're going to do it dry as well so we're just gonna it's a bit harder but you can still do it you don't have to dampen it if you don't want to and if you don't want to use any um distress stain then just get a, a kitchen cloth a damp kitchen cloth and just sort of like dab it on it so it's just So it just dampens the paper. And then again, a little bit of a gentle crumple. Straighten them all back out. And there we have. So that's the square one. So we'll put those aside while that one dries. Let's move all our little bits to the side. And now we're going to do the circle one. So we're going to use the larger end. That's it. We're going to use the larger end. And again, we're going to put it right to the back of the cropper dial. So it's literally can't go any further i mean you can you can use your your little widget on the side if you want to oh, if you want to um i'll put that on later but i'm not gonna i'm just gonna line it up to the edge of the paper and then punch a hole and then what you can do, so you see you've got your teeth here. So you can either line the edge of the circle with these teeth or you can line it up with the actual, with the edge here. 
so at the edge of the actual hole punch if you want to um it, the, the space between is entirely up to you so i'm going to line it up with the edge of where the teeth start and then you just go all the way along And the great thing about being able to do these yourself is you can colour coordinate them with your projects. So you can literally make these out of any kind of paper you want. I don't know, I've not tried them with cardstock. I would say the cardstock would probably be a little bit harder to manipulate because obviously it's cardstock. But copy paper, music paper, craft paper, I'm sure scrapbooking paper you could do it with as well. Any kind of lightweight paper really works best. But give it a go. You never know. It might work. We love an experiment. Perfect. All right. Let's move all our confetti over there and then I'll do that later. Put that there and then we're going to do exactly the same as we did with this. So I think because it's joined, I think I'm going to cut off this side first. And then again, we've got two great strips that we can use for other crafts. And then we're just gonna cut along. Perfect, there's a line here. Lovely. And then we have this one. So we're gonna do the same but this with this one because it's a smaller hole I mean you can do it if you want to but I'm literally just I'm not going to do the gap I'm just going to snip it oh it moved all right so I'm just going to go along every hole My arms are aching. Holding up a bit of paper, I eh? would have thought it. I'm just going to keep going all the way to the end. And then we have two. Now, again, I like the, the distressing of these because obviously when you add water or distress onto distress it will activate what you had on it underneath so that's why this one um you can't really see the vintage photo anymore because it's activated it and the antique linen has blended blended in with it so yeah just be aware of that that it will reactivate even though it's dry so what i want to do is i'm going to get baby wipe 
or a wet wipe, any kind of wipe. And then I'm just going to just go along where we've just slit, put the slits. And because it's paper, it doesn't take a lot to dampen it. And then we're going to just run our fingers along and crumple and then again rip some out I like to do doubles sometimes just to you know mix it up a bit <laughs> and then let's do this one and let's take out the end and there you have how cool is that oh I love it I absolutely love it. They just look so cool on the edge of your projects. Right, so that one, move those little smidges out of the way. And you don't have to do that. You don't have to age them up. You can literally leave it just like that. And if you, over time, if you give it a bit of a, a crumple, it does exactly the same thing. And then just take a couple rip a couple of the bits out as if they've it has been ripped out of the book and there we have another one so we've got one more a little bit left so we're going to use we're going to use the slot one i think and we're going to do exactly the same thing Put it in as far as it will go. So we're just going to line up the slot. And then again, line up the end of the slot with the beginning of the punch. Punch again. Last one. Oh, mind you, might get a little smidgen out the end there. Perfect. And then just do exactly the same. And like I said, if you're brave enough to do it, um, sort of freehand, by all means. By all means, do it freehand. So this one, because it's a bit of a wider gap, I am going to go and snip like that. They don't all have to be the same size, just... Just snip away, just so it looks like it's been ripped out of a notebook or any other book. And there you have it. So this almost looks like the T-bar one. So again, let's put this away. Right, let me take a smidgen off the end here because this is the folded end. Put that back in there. I'll be careful when you're unraveling them because they like to get caught. So again, just rip off bits. And there you have the T-bar one. And again, 
and just dampen the ends. And then crease Take one off there, take the end off, take that end off, and then take one off. Let's move the rubbish. And there we have. How cool are these? So quick, so easy, but yet so effective. How cool are they? I absolutely, I love them. I love them, uh, as you can tell, because I have made a fair few. But yeah, that's what I mean. They like to get stuck on each other. Um, yeah, I have made a fair few. They're so cool. They're absolutely so cool. It's kind of like whenever I get any strips, sort of go through, go through your stash, your scraps, um you'll go through your little scrap box and even if you've got little pieces like this doesn't matter doesn't matter so let me put these aside till they're completely dry and let's get my little box of yumminess um let's put that there see what i mean so we've got all these scraps in here and here this is um, the, a strip of washi tape. You know when we did this, when we made tabs and I had all these left over. Do you know what? Let's try, let's try the, um, let's try the cardstock. Let's do it. Why not? Because I don't think this is a very long video at the minute. Um, and I didn't realise it was actually, it's, it's that quick to make these. <laughs> so it have been, hi, bye. <laughs> it have been the shortest the shortest tutorial to date. <laughs> so let's do a couple more. Why not? Right, I'm going to do the square one just because I love this little punch. It's so cool. And even if you haven't got a crocodile, I bet you could find one of these. If not, if you can't find one of these in the circle, you can get ones that look like this as a circle. So, and they're not, they're not that expensive. So let's do let's do the cardstock. See what the cardstock's like. I don't think it's going to be. Um, as easy. As easy as the. Um, paper. But. It still might look cool. Get all my little confetti bits out. Come on. That's it. And then just run along. The edge like that. I reckon we might just get another little... No, we won't. Right, so again, grab your scissors and then I'm going to go quite th quite close this time. And there's another sh strip for your scraps. And then I'm just going to... Oh, actually, do you know what? <laughs> this looks really cool. <gasps> This looks really cool. <laughs> that does look really cool. <gasps> I actually really like it on the cardstock, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I'm loving that. <laughs> I'm really loving that. Um, I'm not too keen on the wonky line, but, you know, I mean, how wonky is it? Eh, 
It's not that wonky. It's not that wonky. It's not enough for me to care. Right, so let's get this emptied and out of the way. Move this over here. So now what we're going to do with this is I'm not even going to... Um, I'm not even going to crimple it, I don't think. I might do. I don't know. Shall we give it a go? See if it does. It does if you... Oh, it kind of does. But I kind of just like it like that. I'm not going to lie. Right, so I'm going to get... I've got like a little bit of packaging here. I save all my packaging. And... First, I'm going to go with the antique linen because I got it. And I'm just tightly, lightly, not tightly, <laughs> um, lightly squish, pressing the nozzle, not doing it all the way down. And then I'm just going to go bub, 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 just like that. Let's get some on the, um, on the tab bits as well. Look at that. Oh, I love antique linen. I actually cannot believe it has took me this long. I thought I had it in the stain, but I, I don't. I didn't. So, yeah, I am glad that I've got it now. Right. I'm going to give this a quick blast with my, um, my professional hairdryer. And then I'll be back. Right. So, as you know, I don't like to waste anything. So... I'm going to get my little my little bundle of goodies here. Let's put those strips there. And then I've got some little tickets here that I made with my stamp, some little stamp clusters. And I'm just going to soak it up. Just like that. Just like that, just soak it up and then I'm going to put these aside to dry. So that's that done. And then I'm just going to take off the last smidgen. And I'm going to get my vintage photo. I'm actually, do you know what? I got oh, this leaking. I got, um, I love oxide. I really do love oxide. But you know, sometimes you just want that vibrant colour that only vintage photo distress stain or the ink pad can give you. And I've got some more, some more squirters somewhere, so I'll have to change the nozzle. Right, so I'm going to do exactly the same as what I did with the antique linen. Just a couple of little sprays. Let's take that off my mat before it dries. This is why I've always got inky fingers. <laughs> and then I'm just going to... Now, the only thing with cardstock is it doesn't tend to soak into paper as it uh, doesn't soak into cardstock as well as it does soak into paper so i'm going to do a little spritz and what i like to do when i do this is i get sort of like a rounded paintbrush and then i mix it in with the water and then because i don't want a big splodge i pick the water up and i splat it around so you get in just around the big splodge So you're not just getting a big puddle of vintage photo. You're getting all different textures too. And then let's just mic that up. Because sometimes when you, if you don't dilute it, it gets sort of like this. So then we're just going to see. And then we get <gasps> lush. Look at that. I mean, oh, let's have a little bit of a dip on the ends. That's it. Right. 
and then I'm going to give it a quick blast. Well, before that, um, I'm going to get, let's see what else I've got. Um, I've got some strips. I've got some more tickets here. Yes, I have. All right, so I did some more stamping here and um, I've just got my label stamps out and all my little other little stamps and texture stamps and I made up some little little clusters of stamps. So then I'm just going to dob these in as well. Perfect. And then I'm just going to mop this up. And let's put our little bit of plastic away. And we're going to give these a good old blast with the heat tool. And then I'll be back. Right, so they're all dry. Look at that. How cool is that? I love it. And then also my little stamp clusters. I mean, that's that's why I just love using them to mop up the rest of the ink. I mean, look how cool these look now, look. They, they just look, they look so cool. With just some big fat splodges of ink that you was probably going to wipe up so i have those and now let's put these back in our little stash i think this is um this is my favorite pile of goodies at the minute i'm not gonna lie right so let's put those in my my treat tray, that's what I'm calling it. And then let's put these up out of the way. See, I did the same, mopped up some more stamp clusters, which, oh, I love them, actually. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, I had a proper, over the Easter holidays, I had a proper, I don't know if I can get it out without pulling everything else out. Hold on. I had a proper stamping session. Look at those. How cool are they? Love them. So they're ready to go on my clusters. And then let's pin all these back. Right, perfect. So now, because this is cardstock, and I'm going to leave it, I've ripped some bits off, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some stamping on it. I'm going to do some stamping on it. So I'm going to get my pinecone versifying Claire because I like the brown. And then I have, these are all the stamps that um, I seem to be using a lot and haven't put back with their stamp set. So I'm afraid, I don't remember where most of them go. Um, I do know there's a couple of um elizabeth craft designs this is elizabeth craft design um and i believe this one and this one is as well but as far as the others um oh this is a heidi swap as far as the others uh no they're just stamp sets out of my stash uh what way up does this go this way right so i'm just gonna do but before i do that because I've got my nice clean mat out. Not that I'm sentimental about my mat at the end of the day. Um, a mucky mat is, a is you know, a happy crafter, isn't it? So I'm just going to go and stamp just along the top there. Because obviously you're going to glue this part down underneath. Unless you want to put it on top and that's entirely up to you and then you're going to see it all. So I just thought I would... I would stick as close to the edge as possible. And I have a little one here that I really like. So, but I can never tell. It goes around this way. 
right. Let's move it up. And then we're going to put him just there with his, oh my, Tim Holtz and Stampin' Up. There's some little Stampin' Up in there. And um, I do know where all my Tim Holtz stamps go. But the ones that I use regular, I don't know where these ones come from. But the, the Tim Holtz ones that I use regular, I don't mind keeping them off of the backing. Because I, oh, <gasps> it's lucky that's where I was going to put it. And then just going to stamp those lines down there. Yeah, because I use them all the time. I don't mind keeping them off. Right, so now I'm going to put a number. Along the top. Perfect. And then look at that. How cool is that? And just another extra element. Oh, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Again, again, we've done it again. We have done it again. We found another craft where you can just sit there and create. This is, I think this is the thing. The elements it takes to make a junk journal um, is phenomenal, really. It takes so many little elements um, and that's why we keep our stash. That's why we're always saying, you know, keep your strips and stuff like that. That's why we do that. Plus we're crafters, so we hoard. <laughs> I'm a terrible hoarder. You wouldn't believe how many candles I've got. Um, but yeah, so we do keep every single thing. And that's why, because there's an awful lot of elements that goes into making a junk journal. You know, when you're decorating every single page and you want elements on that page, it's not just the elements. It's then, you know, you've got your journaling cards that you want to decorate. You've got your pockets that you want to decorate. You've also, you know, the ephemera that you want to put on that page. So the cluster that you add to that page. And if I love these types of videos where, you know, we're getting to the point because we're not even at the, ju the junk journal part yet. At the minute, we're just making the elements to make the clusters that are then going to go on the pages. So, yeah. But look how many elements we've got so far. So far, we've got, you know, the enamel tags, the, the metal tags. We've got um, labels. Uh, what else? We've got PET tape. Now we've got these little binding edges. Uh, we've There's just so many. There's just, we've got the tabs. Um the cluster tabs we've got the the cluster stickers as well ah we've we have just got so much that we you know it's all the elements and if if you've got the elements there ready to go i think that just makes it even easier and even better as well instead of thinking oh that needs something that needs something and then because you haven't got you know what you want because we you know we all know, we all sort of have a roundabout kind of idea of how we want our junk journals to look, don't we? And then, you know, if you, like I said, um, uh, on a very long-winded way of saying it. <laughs> oh, is it Tim Talks? It's Tony Talk. Um, yeah, if we have all these elements ready to go, wow, how amazing is that? Just makes our life a little bit easier, doesn't it? And also, you know, making the elements is fun. I do, I do honestly think that this... This this is my favourite part of the junk journaling is making the elements. I love it. I mean, how cool do these look? Especially that with the stamping on it. I mean, look at that. That just looks so cool. And I wonder, I wonder if make it, should we make a little cluster? Shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. So I'm going to use. I'm going to use one of these little. One of these little stamped clusters that I made. So I'm going to use that. See what we've got in my tray. Of curiosities. This is my it's what I'm going to call it. My curiosity tray. Right. So let's put all these over with the others. I'm going to use this one um, and I'm going to use that. I think I'm going to use one of those 
Um, oh, we have some thick strips here. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, I like this one. So, yeah, we'll use that one. And we have our stickers that we made. And we have a tab. And then we have some, I see I've even kept these, look. We have some of these as well. So let's put some of those on there, maybe. Oh, we've got a little E. Um, what else have we got? Oh, should we use one of those? Let's use one of those as well. And I don't know if I quite like that one, to be honest. I actually think I would like it more if that bit wasn't so big. That's a cool tab. That was this tab is literally um, the offcut from when I made my, you know, when I made all the, um, I made the cluster tabs, didn't I? I'll link the video down below. Um, I made the cluster tabs using my We Are Memory Keepers. And I think I did another video where I showed you where you didn't have to you do the We Are Memory Keepers as well. But yeah, this these were the offcuts. And I was like, I'm going to keep that because that's cool. So I might use that one instead because I quite like that. Um, except, yeah, not with the red. I think I'm going to use the other side because I don't. I'm going for a blue. Right, some more strips. Uh, we've got Elizabeth Craft Designs Heart. Might use that got a number a bit of tape i like that right so that let's see i'm gonna have a bit of mummy cloth as well oh, when i was surfing the old amazon um i found so i realized what gauge cheesecloth this is i worked it out and <laughs> Let's just say I'm never going to run out of cheesecloth again. So I'll show you in the in another video because, yeah, I'm going to be dyeing cheesecloth and stuff. Um, so that one, that one will be coming as well. But for now, we're using the mummy cloth from Tim Holtz. Right. So let's get this. And I'm just going to cut that off. I'm just going to use this bit. So first off, let's put that there and then let's cut that in half and then we're going to put that there. And this over the top. I'm not going to use all this, but I do want a little smidgen of it coming out the bottom just there. So for that one, I am going to oh, check I don't drop. So I'm just going to staple that one on with my teeny attacher that's it straighten these up that's it and then I'm going to put this in fact I'm going to trim a little bit off the end there and then I'm going to put this off here and just there. And then I'm going to get my mummy cloth, put this here. And I think I don't know whether to put this and then this. Or I actually think I'm just going to. Roughly trim that 
trim around that. And this I want to um where are you? Right, so I'm gonna get me frayed burlap. Just to stress that we're getting messy all right and now let me get I'm just gonna lay this on top of that cluster for now I want this right so I've got this font stamp and I think I might do it in the speckled egg just because there's there's blue lines on it already. So that changes that. And then let's put this back. And then I think I'm gonna put a staple here, just to staple those parts together. which I didn't do, I missed it. So let's put one next to it as well. Nope. I think I might have a staple stuck. Right, let's see if that works. Up there, there we go. Right, and then I'm gonna put the heart on here. I might move it up a little bit. And then put this just there. Stop it straight in the middle. And I'm going to loosen out the mummy cloth. And there we have a really cool cluster. Which I'm just going to trim off the edge there. How cool is that? And that, um, let's see. Right, so let's just say my scrap, my stamping pad is the front cover of a journal. There you go, stick it on. Perfect, I love it. I, I, I do, I think they're so cool. And you could go a step further because we didn't use the tab, so we could, Put the tab. I don't know if we want it. It's got a bit of mummy cloth on it. I don't know if we want it this end. Come on. Do we want it sticking out there? Or is that a bit too much to reckon? We could have it. sticking off the end there but I kind of like the idea of having it off here right so what I'm going to do because this is annoying me because I know one side is longer than the other and so is the end so let's snip that off and then we're going to get our let's just ink it up and the other side And I'm going to get my glue. Sorry, just had to pause there because um, someone rung my doorbell. And <gasps> guess what I've got? Wow, this is such an amazing surprise. This is so cool that you're here for this. I got the new. Oh, look at these. <gasps> So the new Tim Holtz April Vault, I mean, wow, look at them. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Matchbox, 
perfect the finger look at those numbers love these ones absolutely love them and then look ah oh, can't wait to play with these what a nice surprise a nice surprise 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 right so let's carry on to where we were right keep scraps um because they can go back into my my tray of curiosity i'm not going to use that tab going to use that tab I, I did just look at this and think oh, i kind of like it i kind of like it on there so because it's a label um i want to stick it to something that is a little bit more Excuse Bert, it's just having a drink. <laughs> Can you make enough noise there, Bert? Right, now Bert, stop drinking. Right, so I just want to, I'm just going to add this to a bit of cardstock. And then... Trim it out. I love this pumice stone colour. It's such like a, a grey green. It's so cool. Right, put the rubbish off to the side. Don't need that back in sticker. Do need a corner rounder though. Which I don't think that was a very good one which tells me that that corner is not straight but i'm not shocked why am i surprised i'm not surprised even though i had to follow a label now do i want it wound that way or do i want that um do you know what as i'm gonna take this bit off because i actually quite like i like that bit there i like that number so I'm going to put a bit of glue just down, there it is, just down the edge there and then stick it here. Just because I thought it was a little bit heavy because of this on one side. Perfect. And now I have somewhere else to put the tab. So let's glue this down. And I think we'll put this put it just like that just bring it down a little bit that's it just there and then so i did just have um there it is so a piece of the tim holtz cardstock I'm gonna get my cropper dial the biggest hole and then I'm gonna get my little oh now what one do I want do I want the three quarter inch let's see how big that's nah, a little bit too big right so let's get our half an inch and then perfect center it up Lovely. And then we're going to put 
punch a hole in our little tab. Make sure you're sort of in the middle, just there. We'll keep that out because we'll need it. There's too many tools. <laughs> oh, you need too many tools for crafting. And I can't find me tweezers. So I'll just have to get gluey tips. Come on. And I'm going to put that over there like that and i know i know what you're thinking clusters are supposed to be quick and easy and just put them together and my ocd won't allow that my ocd likes me to be like this so now i'm gonna get i'm gonna get my little jar my little jar of lusciousness and shall we go silver yeah i'm going silver let's put that back in it goes and then didn't change this from last time when we were using the The little ones. Ba, 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 ba. Get back in there. That's it. Right. <sighs> I tell you. This crocodile. So, I'm rudely interrupted by my son, and I did tell him I was going to say that. <laughs> I knocked my video off right at the bit about my crocodile. So, my crocodile. What I basically was saying is, my crocodile likes it when it's on the small settings, and I think I don't think it's actually my crocodile. I think it is the cheap eyelets that i'm using off of amazon that's what i think it is so i'll have to get some decent ones and then the little bit that i cut off the side here i trimmed down and rounded the edges and i just added it here so there is my cool little cluster ah oh, i love it and you've got all these to use as well and i was going to do I was going to do the um, the washi tape strip, wasn't I? Because I thought that was going to be cool. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, because even though this was a short video, it's no longer a short video. <laughs> it's no longer a short video. It's now we're getting into the long bits now. Right, so I'm just going to do a little bit. Um, and I'm going to wing it. So because this has got lines on it, I'm going to try and follow some of the lines. <laughs> Hence the word try. So, yep. My, so I'm going to go along there. And I'm using the... The small crocodile. The small hole. And we've already got wonky, but do you know what? I don't really care. I think it just adds to the the quirkiness. Let's get those out of there. Come on. Right, and we've got a couple more. One more. Look at that. Cool. It works. So even if you um, put your washi tape, you know the strips of washi tape that we did? Yeah, there you go. Another way to use them. So I'm just trimming. The holes. Like 
That one was a bit off, look. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to trim down here a little bit because I don't want that bit to be as wide. And then we just, just crumple the edges like that. And then take, take one out, take one and a bit out, and there you go. How cool is that? You've got, you could even put that take a bit off the end there that's it i mean look at that there how cool is that ah i love them i love 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 them so don't forget um to tag me if you make any don't forget to tag me in social media because you know i love seeing your work um and all my socials are in the description box down below show me what you make i love to see your work and I know we made a cluster today, but let me know if you still want to see a cluster video. Um, I might try and put a kind of spin on it as well. So it's not like, you know, so it's different kind of clusters. Um, I'm going to have a little play and see what I can come up with. But this, beautiful. Love it. So thank you everybody for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you all for your support. And I will see you in my next video. Take care, everybody. Happy crafting. Bye.